Hi everyone, my name is Audrey and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to talk about the books I want to read in July. You pick the time, I'll pick the place, cause baby I know that you're the one. If you got the will, I got the way, until your heart is one. And now I
a goal to read eight books. It's summertime, I do have more time to read and I do want to get that number um, of books read per month a little higher. So I think um, eight books is a reasonable amount of books to read, especially since I'm not working this summer. So this month I am still participating in the Buzzwordathon and I will also participate in the Summer Reading Readathon that is hosted by Gabby from Gabby Reads and Olivia from Olivia Reads Alathi. I will put the links to their videos uh, in the description below. So this month's buzzword is last. So for that one, I am going to read The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell. I do plan to buy this book. I do not have it with me right now, but I will read it throughout the month for sure. So this book follows Esther who can manipulate time. And there's this organization who set up a trap on New York City. So if there are people with magical abilities that go into 
uh, New York City, they get trapped and they cannot use their magic. And if they leave, they can die or completely lose it. The magic abilities are frowned upon in this world and Esta needs to time travel in 1905 to try and save the future of people with magical abilities. I don't know if I've summarized this book well, and I'm sorry, please correct me if I was wrong, but that was what I got from the synopsis. I chose this book because it's fantasy and I've heard great things about it and I can't wait to read it. Next for my Summerween readathon, I have four books on my list. The first one is A Lair of Dreams by Libra Bray. This is the second book of the Diviner series. So I'm not going to talk about the second one. Actually, I don't know what this one is about, but the first Diviner set in the 1920s in New York City, and it follows Evie, who is a young 17 years old, I think. She's 17. Um, she is sent away to her uncle because she did some bad things in her hometown and she's sent to her uncle um, in New York City and her uncle owns a museum of supernatural artifacts. We also follow many more characters throughout the story and in the Diviners there's this demon that was summoned and is murdering a lot of people and they try to find out who is murdering all those people. This is a YA thriller. I absolutely adored the first book. It was very creepy. And as someone who read a lot of Stephen King when I was younger, I was really creeped out by the first Diviners. So I'm very excited to get into the second book of this series. I can't wait. It is a big one though. I think it's six. It's almost 600, it's 560 pages. So that's a big book, but I still can't wait to get to it. The next book for the Summerween Readathon is Tiny Pretty Things by Sana Sharai Potra. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that name. Um, and Daniel Clayton. So this is a YA mystery and this follows some dancers at an elite ballet school. And there's this new dancer that comes along and kind of steals the show and other people are quite jealous of her talent. There are murders involved. That's about all I know about this book. I also know there was a TV series that was adapted from this book that I haven't watched yet because I'm waiting to read this book. So can't wait to read it and then watch the Netflix series. And as a ballet dancer myself, I don't think I've ever read any book about ballet, so I'm very excited for this one. The next one is The Elizas by Sarah Shepard. So this is from the author of the Pretty Little, Little Liars series. I watched all of the seasons of the TV series of uh, Pretty Little Liars. I do have the uh, books over here. I have six out of the seven first eight first books. I've read the three first books of Pretty Little Liars. I could have put those one in for the summer wane, but I decided to go with the Eliza's instead. I wanted a standalone. This one follows Eliza, who is a novelist, and she is found at the bottom of the pool. She believes she was pushed there and no one believes her, but she try and find who it was that pushed her there. As she goes on investigating, she finds that people around her are mixing up things that happens in her book and her real life. So this sounds pretty interesting. I do not have great expectations of this book because Pretty Little Liars are a very average read for me. Um, so I'm not expecting So I'm not expecting amazing things for this book. I haven't heard much about it around either. I do want to read it so I can finally um, know if I'm going to keep this one or not. And the final book for the Summerine Readathon is The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton. So this one is on my e-reader and 
It was also on my June TBR, but I didn't get to read it. So it's perfect for the summer read. And this follows Evelyn Hardcastle, who is stuck in a Groundhog Day type of situation. But at the end of every cycle, she entered her day being killed and she wakes up and needs to find the killer before it's too late. The premise of this sounds very interesting and it is the same premise from that um, horror movie. It goes the same way, like she dies at the end of the day every day and then she wakes up and tries to find a killer. Um, I think it's ha Happy Death Day, something like that. I enjoyed that. I'm not a big horror film movie fan, but I did enjoy that one, so I'm very optimistic that I will enjoy this book as well. So that's it for the Summerween Readathon. Next, I also have some books I read as ARCs. I get my ARCs on, mostly on NetGalley, but um, I didn't request many ARCs um, recently. I do have one left that I haven't read that I have been dragging on since like March. It's a book that's been already published, but I just need to get it done. Um, the reason why I'm not reading it is not because I'm DNFing it. I didn't get past, I think, more than 10% of that book, but it's because for some reason my reader can't download it, can't read it, and I have to read it on my phone, and I just absolutely hate reading on my phone. It's really annoying, and I just hate it. But I need, I really need to get to that one and get my review out. So I will be trying to finish Stormland by John Shirley. So this book is a dystopian book, but for adults. And it is following two POVs. And it's in a world where there's a big climatic changes. And there's this area in the United States where there are storms that are ongoing non-stop they, they never stop so no one really goes there anymore and if you go there it's very dangerous and police and governments do not take care of that area anymore at all so you can basically do whatever you want over there and there's this one point of view that goes there because they're trying to get the killer of someone they were close to i believe it's been a while but that's the main premise even i don't know much i haven't gone further than that in the book um so yeah i will try to read that one as quickly as possible i want to get it over with and then i also have a lot of other books that i do want to read uh in july because i had a lot of books i was interested in on my june tbr but i just didn't have time to get to them and I wanted to roll on those books into my July TBR. Since I don't want this video to be too long, I won't be doing a full uh, summary of those books, but I will show them to you because I do want to get to them. So the first book is A Lots Away by Darcy Little Badger. This is a, a YA magical realism and it is written by an indigenous author. I've heard only amazing things for this book, so this one I'm really excited about. I also um, just started to read Gideon the Ninth by Tamsin Muir, and I also have Hero the Ninth, which is the sequel to Gideon the Ninth. I've heard only amazing things about this book, amazing rep apparently in this one as well. I'm only a, a chapter in but so far i'm enjoying the writing so this is set in a world where there are different planets and every planet has particular things and characteristics and gideon in, is from the ninth planet and she is a necromancer and she gets herself entangled in some politics and i believe it was compared to some kind of Hunger Games type of battles. So yeah, I didn't want to know more before getting into it. I can't wait to read it and I'm very happy that I have 
the second book to read as soon as I'm done with this one. Then I have The Dragon Republic by R.F. Kuang. This is an adult fantasy. It is the second book to the Poppy War trilogy and I gave the Poppy War five stars. It was an amazing read for me, the first one, and it follows Rin who gets herself into an elite military school and she tries to learn the military ropes and she finds out she is a shaman and before she has time to graduate from school the war erupts in the country so we follow her um journey throughout that this is a very grim dark fantasy it's it talks a lot about the dark aspects of war which i appreciate a lot and this is also based on the actual Chinese history. It's a very addictive read. It was very hard for me to put down the first book, so I'm very excited for the second one. I have no idea where it's going to go from where we left off in the first book, but I'm very excited to pick this one up as well. Another one I really want to get to is The City of Brass by S.A. Chakrabarty. So this is a, another fantasy trilogy. It follows Nari, who is a con artist. It is set in the Middle East. She gets herself trapped with a djinn and she finds herself having to go through a, another world that she thought was a myth. We follow her journey throughout different cities. That's about all I know of this book. I've heard amazing things about this book and I can't wait to get to it. And finally, the last book I want to get to this month is Doing Time by Jodie Taylor. This is a first book of the spin-off series from St. Saint Mary's Chronicles. I started reading this book because of the Buzzwordathon, which was Time, and that was in, I believe it's February. No, uh, that was in March, last March, and I started it. I didn't get to finish it, and I have been just keeping it there on read for all that time, and I really want to close that book. So this one is on my e-reader, and it follows a, a group of characters that are enlisted in the Time Police, and they get to learn um, the ropes of time travel, and it's in a world where time travel is legal because it has done way too much damage in the past and they decided to ban it except for certain people who are authorized to do some time travel for research purposes or for the time police and we follow those characters throughout their journey in beginning their career in the Time Police. I didn't read the St. Mary's Chronicles either. I chose this book because it was on the Kobo site, it was on sale and it had the word time in the title. So I thought I would give it a try. I did enjoy the writing, but um, yeah, I just didn't get to finish it. And every month I just had more and more books uh, I was more excited about. So yeah, I really do want to get to that one. So that's it for my July TBR. I do know I have a lot of books on this TBR, but I'm very hopeful and optimistic I will get to most of them this month since I'm on vacation and I'm not teaching for the next two months. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you have read any of these books I've mentioned and let me know what your July TBR looks like and if you're participating in any readathons this month as well because I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I will link my Etsy Patreon coffee page in the links below and if you want to support me further, hit the like button if you've liked this video, subscribe if you want to, and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much, and I will see you soon in another one. Bye!